Oh, Conforto drives it out to deep right center field. Thank you, Demetrius. Grand slam in the first inning. Now that is how you start a game. No way. No way he hit that out. I put a fastball all the way at the top of the strike zone, and he hit that out. I guess that's just what Paul Dayong does against the Mets, but oh my god, did I blow the lead. Hey everyone, hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another New York Mets franchise mode, episode number 39. After the last one went into extra innings, when it really should have, I did a typical Mets fashion, go to Familia in the seventh inning, hoping that he could just, you know, keep the game where it is, not blow it, which of course he did, and I, I guess I did to some extent as well. And that forced the game to go far longer than I wanted to or hoped for. We were able to pull it out in extra innings, having a nice 11th inning. Seth Lugo was really big in relief. He had to throw three innings, and I had to use a whole lot of my bullpen because I didn't want to go too deep into the game with Mats, and I had to pull Familia, so it definitely cost me to use a lot of arms, which has led to a change I've made. And i have been talked about it before, but I just had to do it after this game. It was really obvious. And I sent down Matt Adams, and I had to call up Paul Blow the Lead Seawall, as I call him, because I just felt like it was a move that had to be done. Seeing how tired Lugo is, and familiar, you know, he's a little tired, you know. And it's just like, at that point in the game where it was extra innings, and Lugo, I mean, I'm trying to get the most out of him, all I had left was my closer and Robert Gazelman. And I kind of wanted to keep Gazelman for last because he's my quote-unquote long reliever, even though his stamina is only a 33, where starting pitchers are like in the 70s and whatnot, which the Cardinals have. They have starting pitchers in their bullpen, which is a very nice luxury I wish the Mets had. And I was like, I just need another arm because even somebody like Gazelman, with despite the 33 stamina, I still try to avoid him as much as possible. He's a 68 overall. You look at his stats, he just isn't a good pitcher in this game. And that can be said for a lot of these guys. I mean, even Brock is, what, two overall higher? And Paul Seawald isn't much better. Like, this is what I've been saying all along. The Mets just don't have a lot of bullpen depth. That's just the fact of the matter. So that is the way that I've gone about it. And I just feel that the Mets, whenever baseball does come back, they have to really hope that there are no type of injuries to their bullpen because they even the bullpen now I don't think is good enough. Like again, they don't have the depth because as I've said before, you can't say, oh well, we're gonna go to Lugo and maybe Batances and if the if you know that's a huge if if Diaz is good again, we're gonna go to them 162 games. That's not how it works at all. It's like less than that. It's cut in half maybe. So. Even then, those guys need days off, and you're just going to need other pitchers, and these other pitchers are not going to get it done that they currently have. And that's why you signed Batanzas. Okay, great. I, I wanted him. Don't get me wrong. But you still need a lot more than that because when you look at baseball, in particular the Mets, go, just do this. Go to baseball reference and look at just how many pitchers the Mets used last year. It's a long list. It's like 20-something pitchers. It's not just the seven or eight pitchers that you normally have in a bullpen. So do the Mets have that extra couple guys or 13 different pitchers they could use? No way. They go to all these minor league relievers who are no good. They blow the game. They cost you games. And they're the difference maker between you just making the playoffs and just missing the playoffs. But let's hop into another change I made. I put on zone thanks to someone in the comments, Demetrius Franklin. So let's try this zone thing out. Jeff McNeil swinging at the first pitch, and it's a base hit. So zone's off to a good start. <laughs> You know, zone is what I use in Diamond Dynasty. I used it in the Diamond Dynasty video that I did the other day. But uh, Demetrius, he, he recommended it, so I'm going to try it out. And let's just see what happens. You know, if this is something you guys want to see. And if it can cause me to stress out less and not rage as much, I am all for it. Oh, no. It's always up to a good start. Oh, man. Foul. Almost had that. I was a little late. The one thing about zone, though, is that because you have to move the box where the ball is, I'm not nearly as patient. I try to move the ball swing. Like, I would have taken both of those pitches in my normal stuff, so. Oh, Nimmo. That one's lying in the center field. Good okay, but it's a base hit. The PCI was kind of in the ballpark. So we got a couple runners on, nobody out, and big polar bear Pete Alonso stepping up to the plate. Oh, Conforto drives it out to deep right center field. Thank you, Demetrius. Grand slam in the first inning. Now that is how you start a game because you know what? If it was directional, I would just be looking at it and I'd be like, oh, good timing, weak. Oh, good timing, chop. I didn't even, you know, I didn't make contact. Good, okay, double play, rah, 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 cry, complain, scream. But thanks to Demetrius in the comment, I'm going zone. And I'm going for it all. That was great right there. I like that.
That's how you start off a game. Lead, uh, grand slam in the first inning. Michael Gafford getting four ribeye steaks. Oh, yeah, try to avoid that. Ramos drives it out to deep left field early. Good. It's out of here. Wilson Ramos leaves the ballpark. Dry up in the PCI down low. And the Buffalo was able to get a homer. It's been a while since I've hit one with Ramos. I don't even remember the last one, honestly. But definitely nice to have zone and just get it close enough. And Ramos used his raw power to pull that one off because I was early on it. But good enough. I will gladly take it. Here's the one-two from Porcello. That one's line caught. Oh, oh, that's not caught. I, I spoke too soon. I mean, Rosario jumped up and put a glove on him, but he couldn't put it in the glove. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Ahmed. And that one's Drew. Oh, boy. What is going on with Porcello right now? They hit every single pitch. Porcello's like my best pitcher. Are you serious right now? Oh, come on. How no way. No way he hit that out. I put a fastball all the way at the top of the strike zone, and he hit that out. I guess that's just what Paul there does against the Mets. But, oh, my God, did I blow the lead. Oh. No. Good okay. Oh, man. So close right there. That was a good opportunity. It's interesting that the Cardinals are going to Dakota Hudson because he had pitched the last game. I don't remember exactly how many innings he did, but like, look how much energy he still has. Like, again, that's the luxury of having, you know, a legit starting pitcher in the bullpen and just having a guy that you can go to for multiple innings not really have to worry about tiring out your other guys. I mean, that's why if, let's just say that Noah Syndergaard was healthy, having Waka in the pen wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Definitely would have made the Mets bullpen better, so, I mean... You just never know when you will get hurt. It, it, it just it really comes out of nowhere, especially in something like the Syndergaard thing, where it's like he had the injury, but nobody knew about it. All of a sudden, oh, boop, out for the year, Tommy Johnson. What? Rosario, you know what? You're lucky Yachty has zero speed. You are very fortunate. I guess I'm very fortunate. Cause, I mean, what am I going to do to the virtual Rosario? Bench him? It doesn't really help me too much. Because, you know, that's the thing I've said about the Mets bench. Like, what's the alternative? Eduardo Nunez? Give me. Oh, man. What's that one? Good. Oh, don't start me. The good timing stuff. Don't start that. Alonzo drives it deep left field. Let's go. Thank you, Demetrius, for the zone. There is no chance in this earth I would have done that on directional. No way, Jose. Big shot, Pete Alonzo. I knew he was trying to avoid me. That could have been ball four. The umpire called out a strike earlier in the count, and it was just close enough. I mean, I'm going to get it done with Alonzo. Even if I drew the walk, I don't love my chances with Cano against a lefty. I just, I'm just i much better with Alonzo, and Alonzo just is a lot better in this game than Robinson Cano. It's a lot easier to do well with him. As I've said before, I mean, when you're on zone, if your PCI is close and your timing's pretty good and it's a strike, good chances leaving the yard with Alonzo. He just is that powerful. And as I've said before, that's how you hit 53 home runs with things like that. Paul Goldschmidt is insane. I don't know how the heck he hit that out. That is crazy. That is insane. Come on. He was early. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? All right, but chances is going to be done, maybe. Yeah. Uh, no. Rizny, please. Jeez, man. That's how I feel, Yachty. Oh, McNeil, no way. No way. Hits into a double play with the bases loaded and nobody out. I mean, <laughs> you can't ask for a better opportunity than that. Colton Wong, who else? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I have to go to Diaz now. I can't take any chances. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now, pitches for your number 39, Edward. Hold on to the count.
the first base. He along oh, the one. Nope. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Two ball, one strike. Okay, voiceover me has to step in right around here because shortly my 60 minutes are going to run up and I I got really frustrated exactly when the 60 minutes happened and I know I pressed the button like I saw the record thing come up and for some reason I don't know why it did not record but what's going to happen here is that in the bottom half of the inning I'm going to give up a game time home run to who else but Paul Goldschmidt. I mean he really is very difficult to get out. Even with him having a down year, when I did the reacting to the MLB Top 100 players, I talked about how like how did Paul Goldschmidt just completely fall off a cliff? This is still a really good hitter in my mind. He has some nice moments in the postseason, so I just thought that MLB Network didn't do a good job with that. But obviously, uh, MLB The Show did a good job with Goldschmidt in this game because I mean he has just been destroying me, especially in this particular game. And uh, that definitely was really frustrating. I got so mad, and the game went to extra innings again. And, like, I had done the wrong double switch. Pinch ran at the wrong time. Pinch hit at the wrong time. And I had no bench left at all. So what happened was, you, you guys aren't going to believe this, but what happened is, in the 10th inning, the guy who guessed the game-winning hit for me was Tomas Nito, filling in for Ramos because I pinch run him because I had, like, the bases loaded and I wanted to pinch run Ramos or something like that. And all of a sudden... I had the pitcher spot up, and I had no one left on my bench because I did the double switch, I did the pinch hitting, the pinch running, you know, all that stuff. So since I had no pitchers left, I was like, let me go to one of the Mets pitchers. I'm going to go to DeGrom because he's a good, you know, hitting pitcher, and I feel like he could get it done. And he, he, I think he got a hit, actually, and you know what? I didn't really get much more. And then, because of the three batter minimum rule, DeGrom had to pitch the 10th inning. So then DeGrom saves the game at the end in the 10th inning. So Tomas Nito won the game, and then DeGrom saved him in the 10th. So I'm not as crazy about this three bad memory rule no as way, I was. Goldsman, no way, no way, no way. Oh, my God. Paul Goldschmidt's too good. He's too good. He yeah, so good. hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment about the Mets, about the Cardinals, about how I can improve my pitching. Because I scored 10 runs but gave up 8. So if I can improve that, that definitely would help. Thank you again, Demetrius. for.